again and again people ask me, like probably many of you, what advantages does it actually have for me that we are part of the European Union? I would then usually highlight things like the political cooperation between neighboring countries that has led to a long-lasting peace inside of the EU, the obvious economic advantages, freedom of movement for EU citizens, the Erasmus program, practical things like the abolishment of roaming charges, and so on and so on. With Brexit, more and more of really everyday life examples pile up. Like, for example, this dress. I ordered it in January online from a small-scale tailor in England for 90 euros. I received it about a month later and had to pay 48 euros of fees and taxes, more than half of its original price. I honestly thought that this cannot be true, so I contacted the Belgian custom authorities, and here is their reply to my request. Dear sir, madam, your package arrived on the 16th of February 2021 and unfortunately has to be cleared through customs. If this parcel had arrived before 1st January 2021, it would have been free of taxes. Just another example of the obvious. Brexit is not a project of freedom. It is a project of building barriers. Bre Brexit is not a project of prosperity. It is a pro project of bureaucracy. But Brexit is not making Britain big and global, it is making it smaller and inward looking. And this deal can unfortunately not change any of this. But it can be a starting point for moving back closer together, for rebuilding what Brexit has destroyed. This deal might not be a final answer to the challenges that lie ahead of all of us, but it can be a basis for conversation. So let us take this deal, expand it where it is incomplete, change it where it needs changing, and build a relationship that can actually be sustainable and mutually beneficial again. Thank you very much.